It looks so far, but anything could happen between now and uh, and any time. He insists that he didn't know any of this was happening. That seems extremely implausible. He says that it was part of leadership to go and thank his staff, and uh, there are a number of photos circulating and in the report of him raising a glass, giving a short speech, thanking staff who worked tirelessly. That will not go down well amongst the very many other people around the country who worked tirelessly, medical staff, people on the front line who also worked tirelessly and did not feel that they were entitled to parties. The idea that he didn't know these parties were going on seems extraordinary. Nevertheless, in the Sue Gray report, there isn't actually any killer statement which proves that he did know. Uh, there are emails amongst staff who have now been moved on after Boris Johnson overhauled his uh, Downing Street operation when all of this blew up originally in January. There is nothing which specifically proves that Boris Johnson knew. So then it comes down to... Uh, only the Conservative Party have the power to remove him. It comes down to whether they wish to believe him, because there is no uh, s successor that they would like to see take his place, or whether they genuinely want to give him the benefit of the doubt. A snap poll has already suggested that 60% of the British people do not believe him on this at all, and 7% nevertheless say they think he will resign. So the 60% who think he should resign and the 7% who think he will resign, there's a very big gap there. Indeed. And we will, as you say, we'll